Well, after sorting out exactly what wires we had to extend, we've got our extended key switch so we can put it up on the dash. Got our battery up here connected. So, let's see. Give it some choke, or rather lack of choke right now. Okay, give it some choke. So as you can see, wired it in so that both of these options work, both the kill tether for the mud runs and the key switch for general use. We'll grab the camera, go over everything, should be good to go. Now this video is different than another video that I did on these. I did one video that converted these to push button start. This video I'm simply extending the key so that it fits up onto my dash. If you'd like the push button start version, I will make sure there's a link in the description for you to learn that. On this extension version, we're going to be using their factory key switch along with adding a kill tether to the equation. So let's look at this harness here. And what we did was we just simply unsoldered and wired in in between and went back and forth. So we've got green means go. This goes to the starter solenoid. White is white as a ghost. In other words, going to ground. If you're in the ground, you're dead. The brown is remember like a brownout or a blackout. This is your kill wire right here. And the yellow is turning on the lights. This is your charging positive wire coming back. So then if we come back here, so we'll deal with our positive yellow wire. Now, when you tear open that case down there, these are going to be soldered essentially to the same spot. This is where your... 30 amp breaker or whatever would normally be if you want to add a fuse it goes right here this is your charging circuit diode that is coming back through so this is your positive 12 volts that comes through and this diode keeps it from trying to magnify down in underneath here now in here we've got this wire here originally was connected to our oil kill. Instead, we've got our kill tether, which connects to this, which connects to this. And our kill tether is there, and it's in ground. So here's our big white wire that goes all the way through and connects right there. And our green is going to come all the way back and connect to the blue wire that goes to our solenoid. So this one and the other side of the diode connect together. The yellow goes all the way back through to the switch. And this brown one here is brown out or make the lights go off, which would be brown coming back through which connects to this wire and this wire actually connects up through and goes to this wire right here coming out over the top of the starter. So there we are. That's the basic wiring. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helps you get your Duramax project up and running.